Welcome to the Purpose Chasers Podcast. I'm your host, Mark Crandall. In 2015, I dreaded most of my day-to-day life. I was working unfulfilling jobs, wasting time playing video games, binging on TV, just to get my mind off the fact that I had a calling to do more and to be more. For years, I wanted to write a book, to become a paid speaker, and to empower others to achieve their dreams. In 2016, I took a stand. I invite you now to do the same. As Purpose Chasers, we refuse to settle for average. We chase our dreams, we accomplish our goals, and we support, encourage, and challenge our community to create the lives we want to live. Why have we Purpose Chasers taken this stand? Because life is too short to not live fulfilled. Enjoy this episode and take action. Yo, what's going on, guys? So just a heads up, this episode is going to be a little bit different than any other moment of growth because I actually have my good friend Mark Crandall here with me today. Say what's up, Mark. What up? So we are on here, and if you're listening on the Purpose Chasers podcast, this is a different voice because we realized when we were guests on each other's shows, the reaction and and the people reaching out, they wanted more. Uh, And so we decided to kind of get together and, and spend some time and brainstorm, and we've come up with a couple ideas that we want to share with you guys, but... The connection was instant between Mark and I. We, we talked about it a little bit when he was on the show, but we're going to do a deeper dive on that as far as like, why are we continuing to stay connected, continuing to give, continuing to create content? But Mark, why don't you go in, because you tell the story really well, why don't you go into how we even got connected in the first place? I mean, the Purpose Chasers audience knows, but maybe, you know, maybe the, the Growth Now audience doesn't. It, so I've been watching you online. So I launched a podcast Purpose Chasers podcast uh, probably two years ago. And I had no clue what I was doing. I thought you just launched a podcast and people just like thousands of people started (laughs) listening to the content that you were making. And, you know, I just started to implement, you know, what I know from recovery and what I knew from reading books that I really related to, like how to win friends and influence people. And so I had been successful in, in all of my business ventures with the mindset of bringing value. And so one thing that I know about bringing value, which you and I have talked about a lot, and where I think we're going to get into in part two of this episode, is most people don't do it effectively. They think they are, but they're really selfish and really snaky. And so I kept seeing you online. I saw your event, like you posted about the event last year. And I saw that you were connected to some other individuals that obviously I wanted to be connected to, but I was lower level, right? So there's levels to this stuff, guys, for and gals, for if you're listening, there's levels to it. So as an entry level podcaster, I couldn't hit Justin up and try to scheme a way to get on his podcast. So I've just become really, really good at networking and building authentic relationships with people. And so I reached out to a couple of people that I knew that you were connected to. And I said, Hey, will you make an intro? I see this guy I really relate to what he's saying. I think three intros got made, two or three intros got made and they flopped. And so I apologize. <laughs> no. And so what I want to share with you listening is those relations, like those intros flopped in my experience because the intro, the person that made the intro didn't have enough leverage in the relationship with Justin. They hadn't authentically built in. Uh, they hadn't built an authentically enough relationship where Justin would stop what he was doing and say, "I need to know this Mark guy," right? So I didn't. You know, I just said, "Okay, I just need to keep doing what I'm doing." And then um, Anthony got booked to speak at your event. And Anthony, so it's Anthony Trucks, Anthony Trucks, who's a beast. You guys need you, you need to you need to see him live. Um, and so I hit Anthony up and I was like, Hey, you know, Justin, he's like, yeah, you know, he just booked me at his event. I was like, will you make an intro? I don't. And, and Anthony knows when I ask for an intro, like I don't have an ask, like I don't, I'm not scheming on some selfish motives of like, Ooh, I'd really love it if I could speak at his event. (laughs) Um, there wasn't anything like that. I just knew what you were doing and I wanted to know you. I wanted you in my world. And Anthony made the intro. You responded back almost immediately where most intros, people waited out. And even though they see the intro, they're like, oh, I'm going to wait and see if they reply. But you replied. I replied. I followed up. I sent you a text message and said, hey, I'm moving to Philly in two weeks. Let me get settled. And I'm going to hit you up. And I did. And 
you know, you invited me to go uh, to, to Reading to meet you for coffee. It turned into lunch. We spent four hours. I want to share this. I almost canceled that meeting. I didn't want to drive. I looked it up on Waze. It was like an hour and 20 minutes. I'm like, dude, is, and, and Anthony said to me, he's like, well, is the potential of that relationship worth that drive? I was like, well, I'm not connected to people here. I've had multiple people tell me I need to get to know him. I see how he's moving. I made the drive in and the rest is, you know, the rest is history. And I'm sure we'll get into how this is all manifested. But yeah, that's how I'm just consistent. And I'm always looking for ways in and I'm looking for the people that have the leverage with the people. Yeah. And, and- just to add to that too. I mean, I knew who you were as well. And, and honestly, like if I'm being completely transparent, I don't even remember the other introductions. Like, you know, as well as I do at this point, now that your podcast is taking off, like there's constantly introductions, there's constantly, you should interview this person or pitches or whatever. And so like my inboxes at times, and I'm not saying this happens all the time, but at times become flooded. Um, and I don't, I don't purposely, you know, ignore people. I don't purposely not say yes. Um, but when somebody like Anthony trucks and doing it via text and all these other things, like when you reach that, when you, when you get to a certain level of, uh, relationship with somebody, it's always a yes, no matter what, like now you and I are at a place where if you intro me to somebody, it's always a yes. Like, it's never like, um, wait, tell me more. Wait, what's the point or whatever. Um, and I think that that's kind of the value of, of building a relationship. And, you know, when both you and I have somebody like Anthony, you know, in our circles, that also tells me that you're a good person and that tells you that I'm a good person too. Right. And so like who that goes back to like, who do you surround yourself with and how, how important is that to everything in your life? I mean, it's invaluable. It's absolutely invaluable. And, and I didn't think, I honestly thought, dude, I would, I would finish my coffee and I'd want to leave the coffee meeting. I didn't know what to expect. Right. I'm like, I could tell. <laughs> I, well, I live, I live in this world now where people just ask me for so much and they don't, ever reciprocate and they rarely give and and it's like this very very weird thing uh and so you become almost on edge about certain things and i lived in and and i still live in this attitude of of giving as much as i possibly can but then you also have to understand that your time is very valuable too and you can't drain yourself of that so i was like i'll finish the coffee it'll be great whatever wherever it goes cool um and in my head i'll be honest i was like maybe i'll sell a ticket to my event like that's what i was thinking and uh Obviously, like you said, it turned into a four hour meeting and it's become so much more than that. I've come down to you. We've spent time at your house, uh, you know, planning a couple things out. And, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about that here in a second. But it's been I mean, the power of true connection is extremely important. Um, and sometimes we have to go into things with no expectations whatsoever, or very limited expectations, but then are, allow it to organically become what it's supposed to be. I think sometimes if I were to fully have written it off beforehand, we wouldn't be where we are because I would have been like, no, I'm done with this crap. Um, so there was, there's always that idea of like something could blossom from this. And, and that's what we're experiencing now. That's why our audiences reacted the way they did to our episodes. And that's why, you know, what we're doing now is, is something that is inevitable. It's something that needs to happen. Yeah, it's, And it's funny because I've, and I've talked, we've talked about this, like I've been pulled into a few different other ventures and there was always a rush. There was always an emphasis. Maybe I let, you know, put the cart before the horse on one or two of them, but there wasn't the synergy just like died after a period of time. And, you know, what we're about to share and launch is so different from what's out there. And yet you and I could rant and I don't know if we're going to truly get into what we're doing on this episode. It may come on the next release, which Justin and I are both going to be uh, releasing one of these episodes a month on our podcast, his podcast and mine. And yeah, we're just so, so aligned and it's turned into, I think the thing that I want to say is like, if I had gone in with, a, with like a pure motive or like a pure assumption of who you are, we wouldn't be where we are right now. Yeah. Right. Which has turned into way, way more than, hey, will you introduce me to Gabby? You know what I mean? It's just like <laughs> how people operate today. It's like, oh, would you introduce me to Gabby? Like that just doesn't, what, like what, what would I do on the other end? And I think that's what, that's what we, what we're 
really truly seeking to create is, is an environment of individuals that are thinking like that. Well, what would I do on the other end? Not what can Gabby get me or what can Anthony get me or what can Ed get me? What will Justin get me? You know, but like, what can I bring Justin? And that's literally where my mind went instantly in that coffee. Like, as I was getting to know you, I'm like, I like this man. I want him in my circle. What can I do for him? Ask questions. And I asked questions and I was like, oh, he has this event. How can I help you with this event? Like no motive. Like I had no clue you were going to invite me on stage and no, like no idea that any of the stuff that we're doing now was going to come. It was just like, I like this man. And I want him in my world. And here's the reason why I want you in my world. And maybe this is going to open a can of worms is because this space is just disgusting. Yeah. And the, and the heart centered individuals are very, very rare. And when you have an opportunity to build a relationship with one, I don't take it lightly. Yeah. You know, and, and I love to, you talk about giving and we, and I talk about on my podcast all the time. So people listening on my end, um, you know, I talk about like, I live in a world of giving, uh, and I end every conversation I have with, let me know how I can help. And I genuinely mean that. Does it mean I can always help? No, it doesn't. Um, cause there have been times where I'm like, let me know where, how I can help and people are like, yo, introduce me to Ed Milet. Well, no, I can't help with that. That's not the kind of relationship I have with Ed, even though we still talk, but I ended a conversation with Ed, uh, of how can I help? And he was blown away by this idea that I truly genuinely just wanted to help. Um, and think about that for a second. Think about how many people interact with that man on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. But he was taken away by somebody in Reading, Pennsylvania that said, hey, you know, let me know how I can help without expectations. But that's why now I can text him and he responds like you have to understand the power of giving. I didn't do it to get something in return from him. I did it because that's my that's my nature. But that's what breeds the reciprocation of life. Like all of my speakers, including yourself and the keynotes and everything, they're all speaking for free at my event. That wasn't the ever the expectation of the connection, but it was, hey, how can I help you and what you're building and what you're supporting? Because my ultimate goal, and I know your ultimate goal, being a heart-centered individual, is we want to help people around the world. We want to help the world change in a positive manner. We want to impact as many people as we possibly can. And you do that not only necessarily through your channel, but then by helping other people's channels that are doing the right thing. And I think that that's the no-brainer. And and you know when we talk about how in line we are and, and, you know, going back to what are your strengths? What are my strengths? Um, and my strength is not online marketing. My strength is not funnel building. My strength is not getting to the ultimate sale. I mean, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a power relationship builder. Like all of my clients are through referrals. I've never gone out and searched for them. Um, so we decided to get together. And the reason I came down to your house was because we were going to build out my funnel. What, how can I get more people into, my circle so I can serve as many people as I possibly can. And not 15 minutes in, I go, I don't want to do this. I want to do something with you. And it just, that's what naturally came out. And I was like, this is why we're together. We're not here because we're supposed to build out my funnel. We're here together because we're supposed to build something together. And that's what we want to announce to you guys listening during this conversation. And Mark, I'll allow you to do it. But um, that's what we're announcing in this conversation. And then we're going to do a deep dive a month from now as to why, when we, when we really kind of launch this thing. But, but I mean, do you feel the same way about 15 minutes into that conversation we're having? Yeah. Well, I was really, yeah, I was, I knew that there was something more there. Right. And, and I'm where most people would dismiss the something more become like, you know, stray off the path because of some selfish ulterior motive, whatever that was. Like, I just really want to know, like, I just want, like, how can I get him to introduce me to Ed or how can I get him to introduce me to Nick? Uh, like, what can I do? Which I've already been intro to Nick a couple of times, but like, <laughs> you know, <clears throat> most people think like that. And if they just stop and say, you know, I invited you to my house and, like Bobby, my one of my partners in the digital marketing company, drove from Cape Cod to meet with you. <clears throat> I knew that you were kind of blown away by that. And at the same time, I wanted Bobby here because I knew it was going to be something way bigger than you building his website or him him upgrading your website, which he is, by the way. You know, those of you yeah, listening, seen pictures his, too, it's going to be dope. Justin's website's getting updated right now. I knew it was going to be bigger. And 
It is, man. And, you know, for those of you who don't know me, this is not a sale. Like I have a brand, the Purpose Chasers, and I launched uh, Purpose Chasers Academy, which is just a six week pro- a coaching program to get individuals tapped into their why. And at the end of that program, the Purpose Chasers Mastermind was going to be offered to the individuals that went through the academy. And a mastermind's a lot of work. I know because I've been in a ton of them. And yeah, and, and I mean, this is I'm looking at the I'm looking at the logo that we that we selected for for what we're about to announce, and I'm just like blown away. And Friday, I sat down and I wrote like the the oath or the creed of the mastermind, and um, I'm pumped, man. I'm pumped. Are we getting into it, or are we going to continue yeah, to keep them on the yeah, edge of their no, seat? No, for sure. Let them let them know, you know what what we've kind of what we're putting together now to really kind of serve individuals that need this. Yeah, so we're. Justin and I have merged. I'm pulling it up. I'm going to read this to you listening. Justin and I have merged uh, and we're and we're doing the Purpose and Movement Mastermind and really, really excited. I've been in a lot of masterminds, most of which you don't get the value in which you're paying. And I just want to share this because this is, <clears throat> this. I mean, it, it makes me emotional. So I want to let you know what we're about to create here. So we are building a community based on the philosophy of giving creates an atmosphere in which everyone receives. Most masterminds are founded and operating from a mindset of scarcity. Each member's ego is fighting for praise, striving to look better than other members and gain recognition from the mastermind facilitators. The purpose and movement mastermind is designed for individuals that want to lead from their hearts and reap the rewards of giving. We seek to nurture an environment in which everyone supports, encourages, and challenges, and challenges each other to grow and excel at and or find their calling. We are excited to give, not scared to ask, or celebrate our community wins. When one member wins, we all win. When we pull each other up, we all reach the sky. I just got goosebumps when I read that. So... Like as Justin and I have gone back and forth and back and forth and talked and talked and, you know, you all don't know this, but we've been on a bunch of different Zoom calls, Justin and I, just to keep this conversation going before it unfolded. We are both so tired of the industry and want to really work with individuals, whether you have a podcast or you have a business or like you want to start a side hustle or you want to launch a book like Justin's very skilled at, you know, how to share your story and your messaging. I'm very skilled at the sales side without ever being a salesman, right? Like there's, and I'm all, you know, for those of you who don't know, I'm also, you know, I have two sets of credentials to practice therapy and I have become a really skilled coach but we wanted to change the game. I'm so sick of peeing, seeing selfish feeds. I'm sick of getting asked things when individuals don't have any leverage to ask me for those things. And yeah, I mean, that's where, where this is coming from. Like Justin and I have been working on some content and creating a mastermind environment in which we are working, you know, in a group setting and there's going to be opportunities for one-on-one as we build this out, but, and events in a group setting to really work with individuals that can't get out of their own way or can't get the momentum that they're seeking on the philosophies that Justin and I navigate from. I want to share this. So this is back when I was doing interventions in, in Texas. It was like probably four months before my wife and I made the decision to move closer to her family. I was, I was doing substance abuse interventions and I became, I had built a reputation of being really good at it. And like, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I had three different uh, treatment centers that were very selective with who they referred to, referring to me. <clears throat> now, there was one main player and I went on a tour and I'd already been on two tours at this facility. And I toured the facility, I ate lunch, I met with the clinical director, met with the director of HR, the marketing director, and I clean up pretty well outside of my purpose chasers hoodie, right? <laughs> and so we're doing the tour and I'm walking back to the car and this man, Todd, thanks me for coming. And this is what we're building in this mastermind. I looked at this man and I had it planned. I had already scripted it. And I said, Todd, thank you for having me back. It was, it was an absolute pleasure 
to come tour this facility. I said, I have a question for you completely unrelated to anything we've talked about thus far. And he said, you know, what? And I said, Todd, I want to ask you, what can I do for you or your organization to move the needle forward for your career? And he just stopped Mm. dead in his tracks. And he goes, you know what, Mark? He goes, a lot of interventionists come here and they're just looking for referrals. He goes, the one thing that you could do for me that most have not is to land these interventions back at our facility. Three phone calls that day, I landed two back at the facility, right? So, but it stopped him dead in his tracks. It got him out of the the world that he lives in, like tour, thanks for coming, ha, ha, ha. You know what else I did? I ordered $150 cookies from some fancy pants place in New York and I had them shipped overnighted to him. So not only did they just refer me three clients, they were eating these gourmet cookies the next day with a note. It's huge. And and I think that's the philosophy that I've built pretty much everything that I've ever done on, um, which I love, man. And and I think the nice part is when when we put together your skill set and my skill set, it takes people from idea to completion. It takes people from purpose to monetization. It takes people from purpose to creating their own movements. And I just did an episode, uh, I think it was now two weeks ago when, of the release of this on my podcast, talking about what does it take to be a movement maker, right? It begins with the purpose. You know, and the purpose of movement mastermind is a no-brainer for anybody who's looking to truly take their purpose and make it their passion and turn that into a movement to change the world, to monetize, to grow. Because look, we got We have to monetize these things in order to continue to make a bigger impact. And so we can't be afraid of that. I know a lot of people are afraid of that. Um, it really should be the exact opposite. Um, and I'm just really excited to be able to kind of facilitate that for these individuals and really put them in a place where they know the next step. Because when you're out here, and, and you know this, Mark, when you're out here as an entrepreneur and you're alone, if you're not investing in a mastermind or you're not investing in a coach, you're floundering. You're lost. You're just guessing as far as the next step. You and I are people who took our story and have created a true movement around it, whether it's you know the, the podcast or the live events or the whatever. Um, and I just want to be able to help facilitate that for other people because I know what it's done for me in my life. Uh, and I see what it's done for you in your life. Uh, and it's us giving that gift back to people in true X's and O's fashion, not in this high level, this is a wonderful story type of thing that you get when you listen to podcasts that are free content. I love to death, but a lot of times it's just the fluff, right? This is the nitty gritty. How do I truly execute on this? Whether that's through bringing in experts into the group or training videos or live group calls or whatever. I'm just really excited about that, man. And I'm also really excited to dive in, in the next episode we do together on our shows um, to do a deep dive as to why, uh, because I think that that was our driving factor too. <laughs> I think for last, oh, we're about character. to rabbit hole on that episode. Yeah, I'm it, was, pumped. <laughs> it was, it was built off of a great disdain for what's happening uh, in the online space in the, quote unquote, and you and I, whenever we say it, we put our finger quotes up, the influencer space uh, is really kind of built around that as far as like, it's become this gross natured thing. And so if people want to hear more about that, tune in in, in a couple of weeks here on both of our podcasts. And we do that. And we also open up the doors to um, this mastermind. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really, really, really excited. And I think one of the things that came up for me when you were not I think, this is what came up for me when you were sharing, is I want to build a community in which, or we're going to build a community, and you can be a part of it, that's the offer to you, um, in which when an individual approaches me and says, you know, what do I, instead of, can you make an intro to, we're going to use Anthony because I'm looking at his face behind you, (laughs) can you make an intro for me to Anthony? And now I know, I mean, I have weekly calls with Anthony. He's busier than hell, right? He's doing big things. He's about to pop, right? Like, so instead of saying to you, like, you know, blowing you off like most people would because they know that you don't have the leverage, I want to work with you. We want to work with you on creating a game plan around how you're going to build the leverage to get to that level. I don't just want to say you're not ready, you're not there, or completely ignore you, which most people do. Well, let's talk about that. Do you want to know how I joined Hal Elrod's mastermind and had a face-to-face meeting with him three weeks later? Let's talk about how I showed up in his life. Let's walk through that. Yeah. 
So yeah. I'm really, really excited to build a community that's focused on giving and knowing that they're going to, re- they're going to receive. If you focus on giving, you're going to receive in a community that's not scared to celebrate their wins or celebrate the wins of, of, of the rest of the community in a community that is not scared to ask each other for help or for introductions because they know the value that they can bring. Yeah. And that is just completely unique to anything that I've seen out there. Now, do you want to talk about before we tell them where to go to get on the waiting list for the launch um, of this mastermind? Do you want to discuss? Um, do you want to be completely transparent about the fees and how what that looks like for them to be involved in this mastermind? Have we worked those out yet? This is fault. You're getting this real, real live and in the flesh. Well, you know, we talked about what we we're going to do the first month. Um, yeah. So the first month, the first month's free. We're going to give. We're, right? We're giving everyone, everyone's going to get access to it. We were originally going to drop this at Justin's event, but the inquiries and like, as we're having discussions about this, like individuals are definitely interested. Yeah. So I want to get it going. Those of you who don't know me that are listening on Justin's podcast, I'm an action taker for real. I go from idea to sales funnel built to getting on calls in a couple days. Like I, it's it's true. (laughs) He's moving, he's moving me faster on this project than ever before, but that's, but look, here's the thing though, right? Like that's the beauty of people getting involved with things that, that you and I are putting together and facilitating because it pushes them to, to reach their max. Right. Um, and the beauty of it is, it is you and I are givers and we've been talking about that this whole entire episode, but that's why we're doing it for free for 30 days. Come in, level up, like be a part of this whole entire thing, but you need to get on the waiting list. So they head over to what, what's the website purpose, purpose and right? Purposeandmovement.com. Yep. Yeah. So if you go to purposeandmovement.com, sign up there. You get on the waiting list. You'll get more information as we get closer, um, you know, to the launch, and then and then we'll get started. Like literally, day one will be a group call where you're going to come in and you're going to be on a call with Mark and I, um, asking us questions, diving deep, understanding that we're here to help you in any way we possibly can for you to take your purpose and make it a movement. And uh, I'm like, dude, I'm excited to see what people in this group are able to kind of then go and take into their life. Like I'm excited to see the growth in their lives. I'm excited to see, you know, how they begin to chase their purpose. See what I did there. I took your podcast name and my podcast name and I kind of mentioned both of them. Um, But I'm excited. And that's why, that's why it works, but that's what I'm excited about to see these people get. So uh, again, just go get on the waiting list. It's free uh, purpose and sign up. And we can't wait to see you guys on the first call. Also tune in in a month to, as to why we truly put this together. Cause I think uh, you'll at least have a good laugh at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I mean, Justin asked about pricing. What I can tell you is the conversations that Justin and I have had is we want to make this affordable to everyone. So there are going to be, uh, I, and, the, and this is just completely open to changing. I'm just yeah. going to be straight uh, because we're, yeah, we're still, we're still finalizing the details, but there's going to be like an entry tier, probably around $97 a month. You're going to get access to the calls, the recordings. There's going to be a higher level tier, probably around two ninety seven dollars a month. That is going to get you everything that you get in the entry level, but you're also going to get it going to be able to be live on the calls with other high level, I was going to use influencers, but other people that are in Justin and I's worlds that we're going to bring in other experts to come in and share tips and trip tricks and secrets with you. Yeah. Um, and then we're also talking about an inner circle. So. Yeah. And, and I'm excited about all that stuff and there's going to be massive value beyond what you're paying and all those tiers. Uh, but I mean, imagine hopping on a call, you know, let's say that second tier hopping on a call with Mike Kim and learning how he was able to write out the freaking email funnels for some of the biggest, people in, on the planet, right? And how he's done it for organizations and what, what's that copywriting look like? Or hopping on a call with somebody like Anthony Trucks to talk about, you know, shifting your purpose and or Gabby Bernstein and being a part of those group calls. I'm excited about that because part of my whole thing and why I even have Growth That Movement Live is to give you guys access to those individuals. Well, this is another way that I'm able to do that because it's been life-changing for me from zero to, to 60 overnight with, with getting access to these individuals. And now we're giving that to you it's a no brainer. So guys, I'm going to wrap this up now. And honestly, here's the thing, head over to purpose and movement.com, uh, and register, fill everything out. Uh, it's free to you get on the wait list and we cannot wait to see you on the group call. 
Uh, we will see you guys in about a month and, and just get ready to understand the purpose behind this whole entire thing. I want to thank you for being a part of the Purpose Chasers community and invite you to seek the support that allowed me to take my stand towards creating the life of my dreams. Join our exclusive members-only Facebook group at The Purpose Chasers. Also, follow us on all social media platforms at The Purpose Chasers. Until we connect again, remember to live your life like it's the only one you have because your dreams should never be on hold.